The needle moves on certainty. Uncertainty causes you to take your foot off the gas. Certainty causes you to push your foot on the gas. Fear, resistance, anxiety, stress. Off the gas, hit the brake. Certainty is go get it and make it happen. If your business is stagnating or struggling, it's because you've lost the ability to have certainty. So when you're setting targets, you wanna be in the 1%? Who wants to be in the 1% club? Grant and I are talking about the 1% club. We're not talking about it because we're bragging about it. We're talking about it because if you learn to do it, you get to teach thousands of other people how to do it. Those that can't do, cannot teach. It's the problem. If you don't know how to do it, you have to learn how to do it. And if you don't have somebody that's willing to teach you how to do it, then you need to submit to the people that will teach you. This is what I did with Grant. He reverse engineered targets and I'm like, shit, dude, any target I've ever put in front of me, I've blown away. The only problem was I was setting my targets based on my own desires and they were too low. So I have to go back and say for 15 freaking years, my targets were too low. So I could feel good about what do I accomplish, but in three years, I three and a half X'd it. That tells me I had the capacity, I had the skill, but the problem was I had just enough success that it robbed me of thinking bigger. How many of you have just enough success that it may be the thing robbing you of thinking bigger? Raise your hand, let's be honest. All right, I love it when you have that cognition because now we get to do something about it. Look at the ultimate cause of disengagement. And what happens, and I've worked in a lot of corporations, I've worked in a lot of businesses, and I've hired a lot of people. An interesting thing happens with what I call kind of the middle class lifers, the country club richers. Around the 200 to 250 number, 175 to 250, it seems like you either have the ambition to become a millionaire or you're just perfectly fine making a quarter of a million dollars a year. You go get the country club membership, you get the boat, you have the new truck, you have a sports car, you do cool vacations, and it's just where you sit and you sit and you sit and you sit. And the problem is those people making that kind of money become middle management. And when middle management's making a quarter of a million to 250, 275, and they're happy, what's the likelihood you're gonna build an army underneath them of people who are inspired to go make a million dollars a year, high or low? How many of you sometimes in your life have felt trapped under a middle management person who's making just enough money, they're not gonna stretch anymore, and, and if you actually look like you can beat them, they're gonna run you off because they don't want the competition. Anybody ever dealt with that? All you need to do is go to work in a billion dollar public company and you see it all day long. Country club rich. Well, I would just suggest to you that that's a good target to get to making a quarter of a million a year, but look only to the extent that you wanna teach a thousand other people to make a quarter of a million dollars a year. You wanna get big? Figure out how to make a quarter of a million a year and then go teach a thousand people to do it. Then you're gonna get big. So sitting and letting people in your organization, you're like, oh, they make a quarter of a million dollars a year. If every year they're like, yeah, no, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, no, I'm good, man. You understand that is the limitation in your business because they're not inspired to take it to the next level. So they're probably not teaching people how to get to a quarter of a million because they can't justify and rationale their value to your organization if other people make the same money they make. So those people will trap you and they'll trap everyone underneath them. Jim Collins talks about this in Good to Great, Great by Choice, How the Mighty Falls. He talks about why behemoth companies, multi billions and billions and billions, tens of billions of dollars of value in companies were entirely eliminated over a 20 year cycle. And who did it? Who eliminated them? The young people that went to work in those companies and were like, I can't move up here. I can't succeed seen here, let's go start our own thing. And they dismantled these massive companies that had market positions for 50 years. You just need to read the book, How the Mighty Fall. It's the culture inside of the organizations that caused the collapse. Who's responsible for the culture in your organization? Who owns what's going on inside your doors? See, when you're the boss, when you're the leader, you can't be a victim of circumstance. You're the co-creator of it. And, and sometimes the hardest thing for entrepreneurs to do is get through their mindset to get to the other side, to own and take accountability for why there are limitations. If you're country club rich in your business right now, you will struggle. That's a mentality. It's like I make just enough to have the life I want, but I'm not really reaching for more. That 
thought is limiting your ability to attract remarkable people to grow your business to the next level. You need to be the example to people who want to succeed or they will leave you. Here's a hard cold truth and I work with a lot of business owners across a majority. By the way, this is my full-time job, but my part-time job is I'm a turnaround expert. So although I love teaching and working with the small business space, I get called in to big companies that are in crisis. And unlike consulting firms that will come in and spend six months and tens of millions of dollars to tell you what you need to do to fix your company, usually within about a half a day, I can understand why the business is in crisis. I just got to go to the founder, the CEO, the person who's the head, and say, what are the top three priorities for the next 90 days for this organization to succeed? And then I go to the next three or four or five or six people, depending on how big the business is, individually, independent of each other, without telling them what I'm interested in. I ask, what are the top three priorities in this organization in the next 90 days so it can succeed? Then I go down to the next layer. Hey, what are the top three priorities for this organization in the next 90 days so that it could succeed this year? Once I get to about 12 to 18 people, what do you think they're all saying the top three things? High or low? High would be they're all saying the same thing, low is they're not saying the same thing at all. A business in crisis, what do you think? By the time I go through the first three layers, they're all saying the same thing, very low. So let me ask you a question. If the people that are out doing the work are uncertain as to what the priorities are, and the leadership are all thinking the priorities are different, what's the likelihood the business can succeed, high or low? Low. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand that the leadership is the problem, not the people doing the work because they don't know any better. So ask yourself this question if you're in business. How certain, because see, the needle moves on certainty. Uncertainty causes you to take your foot off the gas. Certainty causes you to push your foot on the gas. Fear, resistance, anxiety, stress. Off the gas, hit the brake. Certainty is go get it and make it happen. If your business is stagnating or struggling, it's because you've lost the ability to have certainty. And if you don't have certainty, you can't sit with your team to create certainty for them. And that's when everybody goes and puts their feet on the gas or takes their feet off the accelerator. I would just encourage you, if you're gonna write down one thing and leave here with one data point, it's to build your confidence coming out of this thing that you have certainty on what you're gonna do in 2023. And you know what, you don't have to judge yourself for that. If you're doing a million and your certainty is 10, set the pin in it and go after it with everything you have. And when you start telling people at home and they're saying, you're crazy, you're delusional, don't you know what's going on in the economy? Don't you know what's going on with supply chain? Don't you know what's happening in Ukraine? Don't you know what Russia said yesterday? Don't you know what China is doing? Don't you know that the Saudi Arabias are selling gas to China and it's gonna be horrible? Realize as soon as you start hearing all that, that's who you chose to surround yourself with before you came here this weekend. You understand that? And then choose to do something different. Choose to be around the people who are like, hell yeah, let's go get it. Let's not be distracted because we have certainty that it's there and we're gonna go get it. And for some of you that are struggling to have remarkable employees that are pursuing their goals through your business, that are passionate and excited and determined, if you're struggling to find those people, it's because those people don't work for shitty business owners. And I hate to just be like that direct, but I interview business owners all the time. Well, I just can't find any good people. Well, how many of you have ever had the thought you can't find good people? Let's be honest. Okay, now I gotta be honest with you. Good people don't work for bad business owners. They got too many options. So when you leave here, find certainty. Look at these bands. Pick the one you wanna be in at the end of this year. This is your net income. This is what you're gonna pay yourself. And if you got a $50 million business and you're making $15 million a year, that's great. Now we need to go to 500 million. Like pick your number. Don't judge yourself. If you're not at these numbers on here, pick the one you wanna be at at the end of the year. And then make a promise to yourself. As soon as you find a way to get there by working with us, cause we'll show you how to do it. As soon as you do it, make a commitment. You're gonna teach 10 more people to do exactly what you did in 2024. Watch how fast you create wealth and watch the quality of people you attract into your life.